helping people reach goals that they never thought possible is honestly one of the reasons the supper club exists and in this video we get to do just that it's a good one Ronan, a friend of mine's doing the full so i'm gonna catch him on the back end but i figured i saw you and your dad right here i figured i'd come say hello So this video is of the 2019 Charlotte Marathon. I have a lot of friends running it, and honestly, I don't want to be left out of the fun. So I head down to Charlotte, start running the course backwards, in search of some of my friends. I've got quite a few friends doing this race, and so what I thought I'd do is just go run with them at key spots. Just gonna have fun today. So after running for a while, I caught up with some good friends around the eight mile mark and ran with them for a while. Andy Gordon and Jess Powell. It was a good time, but I was here for something more, to play a supporting role. So what is a supporting role? Well, the goal in the supporting role of a runner is to help keep the person you're there to support mind and body in a positive state, doing whatever it takes. See, these runners at the Charlotte Marathon are turning themselves inside out. They're pushing mentally and physically to their breaking point. Good job, good job. Right away. Drive it through with the arms. Yeah. And so at mile marker 12, I cut across the city of Charlotte to catch my friend Junior Hernandez. Junior was running his 13th marathon. How crazy is that? I was finally able to catch up with him around mile 17 and when I caught up with him he was in great form and in great spirit with only nine miles to go quite a few miles in I would say 17 17 juniors feeling good setting a good pace mine's right energy vibe is really high uh, so it's a lot of fun so we're gonna finish strong so most runners that do races are not out just to do a fun run. They're wanting to PR. They're wanting to set a personal record. And on this race, Junior wanted to set a personal marathon record. It was gonna be hard. There was gonna be headwind. It was gonna take a superhuman effort for him to set a personal record. If you've ever been shooting for a personal record and you realize about halfway through that you're not gonna get it, it's hard to keep moving forward it's hard to stay motivated but junior kept his head level put his head down stayed focused and just kept running well someone at like we'll say mile 19 maybe 20 was handing out donuts so i got me one hey free donut hand up who won't take it this guy Woo! but now we're at mile marker 20 and we're seeing the city. And for a lot of runners, mile 20, 21 can be such a mental break. If you're physically exhausted, or you're mentally exhausted, and you still got five to six more miles to go. But Junior kept his head on straight, kept his eyes forward, and him being a seasoned marathon runner, knew what it was gonna take to push and finish strong. And it was gonna take a lot. So as we turn into the home stretch, with a little over two miles to go, we start to run into a headwind. And this is really where the support roll takes an action. Stay behind me. Let me cut the wind. I got Junior to slide in behind me and allow me to break the wind so he could increase the pace and he would be able to finish and set a PR. Junior dug deep, found a second wind, and was able to finish with unbelievable form and unbelievable energy. <laughs> and oh, by the way, he did set a personal record. This is what the Supper Club is all about. So this was such an honor and a privilege to help Junior run this marathon. 
I'm confident that Junior would have been able to run this with or without me. But man, was it not fun to run it with him. Helping people reach goals that they never thought possible is honestly one of the reasons the Supper Club exists. This is what the Supper Club is all about.